The sun hangs heavy in the sky, a blazing orb over an endless sea of sand. Somewhere in the vast emptiness of the Sahara, a lone vehicle cuts through the dunes. This isn't just any car. It's Maxwell Chikambutso's self-healing marvel. The desert stretches in every direction, an unrelenting test of endurance. Dust swirls around the tires as the car pushes forward, defying the harsh landscape. Can a machine truly repair itself in the middle of nowhere? That's the question burning in the minds of everyone watching this journey unfold. Maxwell leans forward in the driver's seat, his eyes fixed on the horizon. His invention is about to face its greatest challenge yet. The Sahara doesn't forgive weakness, it exposes every flaw. But this car was built for the impossible. Its surface gleams under the scorching sun, a testament to cutting-edge engineering. Beneath the hood, an advanced AI hums quietly, constantly monitoring the vehicle's condition. Every sensor, every circuit, is designed to adapt and survive. The first Rayal test comes sooner than expected. A jagged rock, hidden beneath the sand, scrapes against the undercarriage. A normal car would have suffered damage, maybe even a critical leak. But Maxwell's invention reacts instantly. Tiny microfibers in the material begin weaving together, sealing the breach. Within minutes, the scratch is gone as if it never existed. The team exchanges glances, this shouldn't be possible. Yet here it is, happening right before their eyes. The car doesn't just endure the Sahara, it learns from it. As the AI processes data from the terrain, it adjusts the suspension in real time. No human input is needed, the machine thinks for itself. Sandstorms loom on the horizon, a swirling wall of dust and wind. Most vehicles would stall or choke in such conditions. But this one was built for extremes. Its filters self-clean, its vents adjust automatically to keep debris out. Maxwell grips the wheel, but his confidence never wavers. He knows what his creation can do. The storm hits with full force, reducing visibility to near zero. The car's navigation system switches to terrain mapping, using sensors to see through the dust. It corrects course without hesitation, avoiding a sinkhole that would have swallowed a lesser vehicle. Hours later, the storm passes, leaving the team in stunned silence. The car emerges unscathed, its polished surface still gleaming. But the real test is yet to come. The Sahara's midday heat is brutal, reaching temperatures that melt ordinary tires. Yet these tires are anything but ordinary. Their compound adjusts density based on temperature, preventing blowouts. Solar panels integrated into the roof absorb energy, powering the car systems. No fuel stops, no overheating, just relentless forward motion. The team pushes deeper into the desert, where no roads exist. Every dune, every rock formation, is a new obstacle. But the car adapts, learning the terrain like a living thing. Night falls, bringing a different kind of challenge. Temperatures plummet, testing the battery's cold weather resilience. Yet the energy cells hold strong, warmed by their own efficient design. Under the stars, Maxwell explains the science behind the self-healing tech. It's not magic. It's years of trial, error, and relentless innovation. The next morning, disaster strikes. A sharp metal shard, buried in the sand, slices through a tire. For a normal vehicle, this would mean a grueling repair or worse, being stranded. But Maxwell's car doesn't panic. The damaged tire begins regenerating its smart material bonding back together. Within an hour, it's as good as new. The team records every moment, knowing the world needs to see this. This isn't just a car, it's the future of transportation. As the journey continues, the AI grows even more intuitive. Predicts sand shifts before they happen, rerouting for efficiency. It conserves energy during the hottest hours, then accelerates when the air cools. By the time the team reaches the halfway point, the car has learned the Sahara. It moves with the confidence of something alive, something aware. Then comes the ultimate test, a steep, crumbling dune that seems impassable. Conventional vehicles would spin out or roll backward, but Maxwell's car analyzes the slope in seconds. It adjusts torque distribution, finding perfect traction where none should exist. Slowly, steadily, it climbs, 
At the summit, the team erupts in cheers. The desert stretches endlessly ahead, but now they know nothing can stop them. Maxwell smiles, watching his invention conquer the impossible. This is just the beginning. The desert shifts around them, an ever-changing maze of sand and wind. Days blur together under the relentless sun, but the car never falters. The solar panels drink in the light, converting it into unwavering momentum. Maxwell checks the diagnostics. Every system is optimal, even now. The AI displays a new alert. A sandstorm larger than the last is approaching. This one will be a true trial by fire. The team secures their gear, trusting the car to navigate what they cannot. When the storm hits, it's like a wall of fury. Sand screams against the windows, a thousand tiny knives testing the glass. But the nano-coated surface repels the abrasion, leaving no scratches behind. Inside, the air remains clear, the filtration system working silently. The car's external sensors pierce through the chaos, mapping a safe path. It slows, then stops, not from failure, but from strategy. The AI has calculated that waiting out the worst of the storm is the wisest move. Hours pass, the storm howling like a living thing. Then, as suddenly as it began, the wind dies. The team steps out into a transformed landscape. Dunes have migrated, paths have vanished, but the car's memory is perfect. It retraces its virtual steps, guiding them forward without hesitation. Days later, the terrain turns treacherous. Jagged rock formations rise like teeth from the sand. One wrong move could shred the undercarriage. But the car's suspension lifts autonomously, adjusting clearance on the fly. Picks its way through the maze, tire pressure shifting for optimal grip. Then, a sound no explorer wants to hear. A sharp crack as a hidden rock strikes the chassis. The impact would dent steel, but here, something remarkable happens. The car's outer shell flexes, absorbing the blow like living tissue. Then, molecule by molecule, it begins to knit itself back together. Maxwell runs a hand over the spot, smooth, unbroken. The team records the data, knowing how impossible this should seem. But the desert doesn't care about impossible. It only tests what's real. As they push deeper, the car's AI starts predicting problems before they occur. It suggests detours to avoid soft sand, adjusts tire pressure preemptively. At night, it uses excess solar energy to power a distress beacon, just in case. One morning, they wake to a warning chime. A critical component is overheating, the cooling system has a flaw. But before panic sets in, the car reroutes power, bypassing the issue. Then it initiates a self-repair sequence, its internal nanobots rebuilding the damaged part. By noon, the system is green again. The team shares a silent moment of awe. This isn't just engineering, it's evolution. The final stretch of desert is the most brutal yet. The sun bleaches the sky white, the sand hot enough to burn skin. The car's external thermometer reads 58 to 137 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet the battery doesn't falter. Its liquid cooling system cycles tirelessly, shedding heat like a living organism. Then, a new challenge. A salt flat, blinding and barren. The crust is brittle, hiding pockets of sucking mud beneath. The car's weight distribution adjusts, spreading its load like a desert creature. It floats over the danger, sensors mapping the safe zones in real time. At last, the horizon softens. A line of green appears, the edge of the Sahara. The team erupts in cheers, but the car simply drives on, steady as ever. It doesn't celebrate. It doesn't need to. Its success is in every mile conquered, every obstacle outmaneuvered. At the journey's end, Maxwell gathers the team. They're sunburned, exhausted, but alight with triumph. The data they've collected will rewrite textbooks. The car sits quietly behind them, its paint still flawless, its systems humming. It has crossed one of Earth's deadliest places without a single permanent scar. That night, under a sky dense with stars, Maxwell reflects. This technology could change everything. Imagine fleets of self-healing ambulances in war zones, solar-powered buses in remote villages, never stranded by a breakdown, exploration vehicles on Mars, adapting like living things to an alien world. The possibilities unfold like the desert before dawn, 
endless waiting. The next morning, they load the car for the return trip. It requires no repairs, no maintenance, just a glance at the solar charge. As they drive away, the Sahara watches, indifferent. It has tested them and they have passed. But the real test lies ahead, bringing this technology to the world. Maxwell smiles. The desert was just the beginning.